Fulfillment can be described as the achievement of something desired, promised, or predicted. This meaning certainly fits the bill when talking about Mode Ademio Kuma. Her dream of playing a part in the art world beyond being an artist is now a reality. It's the opening of Studio of Mode, where her creativity is on display. Guests are taken on a tour to feel the experience of the studio. I really enjoy the textures. Let's even just start from the, the space itself. I love the fact that it's not just white. The terracotta, um, it feels a little more closed in, but um, it allows us to like, feel normal and be able to, like, you know, interact with the art and really look at it because we don't feel oh my god I can't touch this I have to behave a certain way you can just be free because the space itself the, the terracotta the coolness and even the blue it just allows you to feel more free because you don't feel like you're in a stiff environment so starting with that I love this man has his eyes on two For these other art enthusiasts, their excitement is in the art of location. Then it's left to each to speak on the art piece that caught the eye. It's um, refreshing to see something different, you know, something that you haven't seen before, something that is not common. That's what I have seen here, you know, and all. But back to the painting, Last Giddy, I loved it. Um, it was interesting. It was like playing a puzzle, you know. And for someone like me that I'm not very good with puzzle, it was interesting having to think, okay, what's that? Which is that? Where is that? Where is that? You know, and all. And then I had my little daughter there too, also trying to figure out where is this, where is that, and all. So it was interesting. That is interesting. From what I've seen, I'm inspired to be an artist and I think I work very hard. I've come in here and I've seen uh, works that um, I can connect with. Um, I like the stuff she's done on Lagos. Uh, she's got Balogun, she's got the Arts Theatre. Um, it's beautiful. It, that connects with me very well. Um, of course, there are the other ones that are a bit above me. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Every parent's pride is witnessing the success of their children, and this mother is over the moon. I remember taking her for an interview at the very first school that she was to attend at the age of about five. All the questions she was asked, she never answered. But if she was told to draw anything or to write anything, she did it. <laughs> so that's, thinking back now, I now realize that it's a... A, a trait of expressing herself from her hand with her hands. For the creative director, nothing yet compares to this feeling. I'm just feeling overwhelmed and I can't wait till it's done, honestly. But like I'm really, really grateful. That's really cool. What I like that people take from this is that they always say it's unique, it's different, something they haven't seen before, and that's what I was really trying to create. Something unique and things. So people have that's the reception I've gotten so far. People say it's really nice and really beautiful. They really like the walls, they really like the space, and they feel really good in the space. The bars in the hall is for everyone to keep a good eye on Studio of Mode to see what other interesting works of art come out of this space. <music> Thank you.
This month in art history. UNESCO is also celebrating the World Heritage Day in June. It's a call to protect the monument, craft and art tucked away across the world. Amos Tutuola, Nigerian writer of the famed novel Palm Wine Drinkard, was born on June the 20th. Music maestro Femi Kuti came into the world on the 16th of this month. Academy Award winning actor Morgan Freeman, most popular for his role in Glory and Driving Miss Daisy, was born on the 1st of June.